check, check, check. We have audio. Hey, all right, cool. Oh, let's get out of this thing here. What's up, people? It's your boy Jatois. We are back online, finally. Finally. I can pause this thing. I'll need to see this. I can bring this thing up here. Okay. For those wondering, LMP has not been updated. It is not updated. So there is there is currently no Oh, let me put this on my head. Yo, finally get this thing back up and going. Yes, the LMP is not updated yet. Um, unfortunately, there is, uh, it needs to be updated for 1.6. I tried it with debug, I tried it with, there's a, a recompile that's going around but it hasn't been tested yet. But if it's using the same thing, then I don't know. Cause that's what was causing my craft to implode last stream. And that's the problem that we're, that I was running into. And I was like, I don't know if I want to fight that. <laughs> it literally just destroys your craft. So that's what the problem is we're running into. I need to... Well, basically, today is a research day anyway. Uh, well, I get to pick everyone's brain, too. Because I want to put a... I want to put a Kerbal in a in a kind of a safety zone and try to make them stand up in flight. This is what my goal is. Problem is, well, that's not doing anything, is it? Nice. Let's get that out of there. I've already tried it with the Airstream. Uh, and that did not work at all. Now I know a curve will fit into this bay here. Question is, can I fit them in here? So I'm trying to find something. I know these have a little protection thing in them that's going to allow it to fly. You know, let's take this out of here. Let's switch over to the rockets. Because what I want to do. Is hopefully not crash the game. There it goes. So what I need to do now. Let's go to here. Let's see if we can do this. So. Uh, I doubt anyone's going to jump on very much today because. Uh, it's probably going to be uh, right now. Today is actually a really bad time for a lot of people, which is no surprise. It's just. I wanted to do a makeup stream for yesterday because yesterday's stream was god awful bad. It literally did not work. Literally. So that's why I wanted to do one today. I need to sort this by size. There we go. I don't build rockets like this. But uh, but yeah, that, that was the problem with yesterday. I actually realized that I would have to rerun my network cable completely, and I've lost my right click again. <sighs> Maybe they'll fix that in the coming patch. I really hope they fix that in the coming patch. That would be fantastic. On the in other news, I did update Pure, the engine mod, and I've added in all the new toys to that one. 
So if you guys want to pick that up, let me know what you think about that one. But yeah, I was thinking about, I was actually thinking about jumping into another game uh, like Astroneer or something. Uh, but then again, I don't know how many people actually have Astroneer. Because until we get the uh, LMP going on here, which I don't know when that's going to be for the next fix. I know he's uh, probably out for the holidays, which wouldn't surprise me at all. So let's go ahead. I need to. That's the wrong size. All right, let's just put an engine on here. We don't need very much. All right, so I don't think this is going to work. I'm, I have a feeling like the Kerbal is going to actually die a quick collider impact to death. No, I'm putting a Kerbal inside. If I could open this, that would be great. Uh, because I want to be able to do all sorts of weird wonky things and this is actually just a quick platform that I can do it on but first things first I need to go ahead and leave here this is the only way I've been able to figure out how to fix this stupid bug so now let's go back in and hopefully that bug is fixed now. It's uh, something that it, it doesn't happen to everyone. It mostly just happens to very, I don't know if it hits everyone, but you'll lose your right click ability. So if I right click, like you see me right clicking here, it does absolutely nothing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can replicate that really quick. Yeah, that's easy. I can replicate that one just by going like this. And then right clicking on it. <laughs> yep, that's uh, it's a thing. Unfortunately, it's going to take another hopefully they'll fix that it's not just you yep all you have to do is is take the new um, updated MK the MK2 with, uh, with the uh-huh oh you don't know with the mark one oh I didn't get that with the mark one that's different yeah yeah Strand up, your back will hurt. My back is already hurting. <laughs> My back is already in pain. I've been doing woodwork all day. What's up, Milo's 55? Oh, yeah. It's been a... I've been doing woodwork. I've been crafting things today. It feels good. But it hurts. Because I've been doing it for two days. I have two more days of it. I should be done. So, 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 so close. But, yes, how is, how is everybody today? Now that the stream is, is back and working. 
<laughs> in order to get things working, I had to do some ridiculous. I had to actually find... There was a, a hole that I had found that goes from the first to second floor. And I was like, wait, I could probably use this. But I realized why they didn't use that hole. That hole actually goes into the hallway downstairs. And I was like, ah, oh, crap. Well, that's just just dandy. So, yeah. Now I have a, a small hole to patch. But I did run the cables through it and made it look pretty good until the patch goes in. I just ran out of the hard shell patch. But regardless, we're up and streaming. <laughs> I need to find this part here. So I want to put this, let's just flatten this out. I don't care, it's not gonna be that bad. Do this here. So the goal is basically, I want to get a Kerbal into this bin, and I want them to be recognized as non-mobile, as as being in the cargo bay and not being affected by anything. That's my overall goal. Um, don't know how well this is gonna work. I've already killed. Bob, I killed Bob. Okay, everything's fine. It's just Bob. So, this is going to be our first take on that. Because if I can make this work, then I'll start making that ho that hoverboard for, for Kerbals. Otherwise, it's going to have to be a mech hoverboard. And I really want a hoverboard for Kerbals. That would be epic. Bring it a little bit more light here. There we go. I'm actually using Chrome to generate light. That's kind of silly, but it works. I don't have my uh, LED light lamp in here anymore when I transfer desks. All right, so leaf seat. Yeah, crap. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Okay, so they launch themselves out, so I forgot about that. If I can get him to launch himself inwards, that would be fantastic. So let's just do this. What's up, what's up, Doom Kerbal? Welcome to the working stream. Everybody ignore what happened yesterday. That that didn't work so well. Mm -hmm. Because if you can get a Kerbal to stand up on a moving rocket, there are a lot of things you can do. Uh, for instance, you'd be able to do like a, a little, uh, a better looking hang glider. Uh, you'd be able to make them like in my instance I want to embed them on a surfboard or a, a flying surfboard um, for reasons for reasons well if they are in a cargo bay which is immune to a lot of the physics then they might not that's the thing other than that I mean, I may be able to figure out how to get them to. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's the thing. If I can figure out how to make, well, the goal is I could then make a part that would simulate a dead zone that would go on top of the surfboard, or I can make a surfboard with a dead zone. So the Kerbal stands in the dead zone, but the surfboard is still moving. So that would basically 
be them quote unquote surfing. That's actually easy, but getting the cargo bay to work. <coughs> See, that's what I'm trying to figure out. If I can make that was working it was working ish well we could take a look at we could take a look at the parts themselves too because I think this would be, yeah, let me know how that works. Because I think that, where did they store these ones? Cargo bay, docking port, service bay. Service bay, we're using the service bay 250. So, Yep, new model, nice. Eh? I like. I kind of like it. All right, so let's leave seat. Yeah, don't do that because then you have to launch. Then you have to launch the craft just to get that back. That's what I found. Yeah, if once you launch the craft and revert. Yeah, problem is your right click may go away now. <laughs> yeah, that's what I found. Okay, so we're gonna go, what's up King Lazard? So if they don't fall out, then we're good. It looks like they're staying in. More, yes, enters Odyssey. More Kerbal abuse. This tells me that the colliders are actually working pretty well for this thing. This is this is the 250. Yes, this is the 2.5. The other ones aren't aren't big enough. Can't deploy while it's stowed. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, 
mistakes were made. <laughs> oh god, no, 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 no. Okay, well, we almost had that working. <laughs> we almost had him escape. Whoa, well, bro. Uh, cause what I'm thinking is, let's see, that one actually has a lookup radius of 1.8, so that's what keeps them from bouncing out. That's what keeps them from bouncing. That's the radius it looks at when you are in the cargo bay. So, lookup radius. All right, let me show you guys real quick. I'm actually looking at two things at the same time. So let's go to monitor capture and we're gonna jump over to this here. All right, so this is what I'm talking about here. We are, we are, we are doing some oddities today. Let me make sure he's not gonna die of my own idiocy while I'm doing this, okay. Still gliding. All right, so this is the cargo bay 2.5. To service bay 250 um, they have a module cargo bay here this is the one I'm looking at and this module cargo bay has a lookup radius of 1.8 so basically it's looking around that radius for or to be a protected part if I if I am if I recall correctly and so that's what allowed those Kerbals to be in there safely. That is the question that I'm not sure of. But what we, because I don't think that them, we could see real quick, because I think that we can try to put them inside on the command seat. And if being inside on the command seat doesn't overheat and explodify anybody, then we will have our answer. So let's try that. Oh, we need another Kerbal. We need some willing victims. Bill's already dead. No, Bob, Bob's already dead. Bob has met a uh, ill-advised smashing with a rocket to the head. Long story. Short story, he took a rocket to the head. <laughs> oh, Bob. He always has it so rough. So yeah, yeah, I, I want to really see what parts will protect a Kerbal. And if so, could I create a part? What's up, Graham? Could I create a part, a small part that you just put on the craft and that simulates a cargo bay area in which a Kerbal is safe, quote unquote. Um, I also was trying to see if I could slap a docking port on the back of a Kerbal, but that didn't work too well. Did not work too well at all. I have weird ideas lately. All right. Let's try to move it. Okay. Well. Oh, look. Look at that. They survived! Not you. The two Kerbals that were in the bay, in the seats, survived! What? That's actually pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Everyone else died. So...
I like how the, everything exploded and the two Kerbals just kind of flew out of nowhere. There are some additional parts. Let's take a look at. Let's see, payload, payload. Mm hmm. Yeah, you see, that's that's why I was. <laughs> yeah, I was about to tell you. Yeah, that, see, when I was originally doing my experiments, it was with an airplane, and this is actually what I did that did not work on an airplane, which was kind of sad. Cause that would have been awesome. What am I building? I am building Kerbal Torture Devices. No, it's too much forces on him right now. He's not going to move. So, because I really want, I really want a Kerbal, I really want a Kerbal to get, because I, I really want a Kerbal to get affected by I want, I want a Kerbal to have a dead zone. And if I can get a Kerbal with a dead zone, then that would work just beautifully. But it's just trying to get that to work. So. So we'll see. Oh, oh. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, Wait a second. <laughs> what the heck happened to you? We haven't even started flying yet, dude. He's actually, no, he's actually part, he's actually in the seat. He's actually in the seat. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't think anyone intended for it to be used in this way. I have no idea. He's, that's not how you use a seat. That is totally not how you use a seat. That is the first time I've seen that happening. Oh my god. I, I'm tempted to throw this on Reddit and be like, that's not how you use a seat. <laughs> totally got a screenshot of that. All right. All right, so let's reset this uh, game camera. There we go. Reset camera. All right, so what I want to do is open this up. Uh, leave seat. So here's our test. Half our curables are going to stand. Half are going to sit. And all of them are going to be looking at each other really awkwardly as some of them explode. All right, leave seat. So what happens? I wonder if it's protected in here. We're gonna, we're gonna actually have her remove her helmet. Not Valentina. I like Valentina. Cathberry, welcome to Helmetless Zone. 
All right, so let's go ahead and remove helmet, remove neck ring, just hang out. Everything's fine. <laughs> All right. Oh God, too fast. All right, so let's see how this works. Come on. Oh, Cathbury died. Not enough oxygen, air is too thin. Well, there you go. Your Kerbals are not safe. Swing it around. So that tells me a very interesting thing. So our Kerbals all survived. I don't think we'll be able to stop this spinning. There we go. Now we stopped our spinning. I think I would actually still prefer. Oh, look at that. It's persistent now, huh? Oh, nice. Or is that just my craft trying to adjust itself? Nope, it's just my craft adjusting itself. Never mind. Never mind. Everybody calm down. And he's still not using his seat right. <laughs> All right, so here's our test. Let's open this up and see what happens here. Um. What? <laughs> Where'd all of our kerbals go? Wait a second. Wait, wait just a, a gosh darn second here. Wait, hold on, wait. F3, they didn't die, so where are they? Huh? Billy confused. Billy very confused. They are, wait, no. Did they, did they just get time warped into non-existence? Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, yeah, he's not fine. I don't know where he went. What happened? What happened? Oh, there he is. Okay, so that was interesting. Like, where did they go? Collider landed. Collider didn't landed. Dude! Where did our Kerbals go? Is your chute gonna open in time? Okay, there it goes. I wanna see if there's any curables that made it down here. And it's just not reading it properly. No, that's just a random part. 
they get affected by acceleration, by the heat. No, it's just the drag that's not it's not hitting them. So basically, that would not be a good thing. What is this? What is this? What is this? What are you? Oh, that's the bay, isn't it? Yep, just the bay. Good shot. <laughs> oh man. That was a good shot. Uh but yeah, you you are way out here on your own, buddy. Yeah, that was weird. They kind of glitched out and then just disappeared. That was odd. Alright, so that's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett Regan, do it again. I don't think I could do it again if I tried. That was uh that was luck right there. I I I'm gonna stick by that. Do this right here real quick, just to kind of give it a little bit more. There we go. A little bit more lift down low when it runs out of fuel. There we go. That'll work. Uh, you have to, if you can't, what you have to do is you have to select both, both of them. No, you have to select the, f I think it is both. I think it has both. You select both and then you hit transfer and then it'll light up. I believe that's how I did it last time. Cause I've already done that in 1.6. What are you trying to change on the cockpit? Oh, you're talking about once you have people in there. Yeah. Yep. Yep, I know. It's only certain cockpits, though. I've been using the, I've actually used the MK1 inline and the regular MK1 uh, cockpit. Those have been working. Now the lander can, that one's been problematic for me. <laughs> Whoa. And I get a lot of hiccups like that happening on here and there, where it just kind of sticks for a few seconds. Sticks. All right, so we're not going to use time warp. Krakenberger says don't use time warp. So we're not going to use time warp. We are also going to give them a nice little survivability platform here so I can just do this all at once. Uh, 
All right, so let's see here. Let's go. Really? Why did it? What? What? What are you doing? This goes here. Okay, now we're ready. Out a window. A window. They don't need no daggone windows. Windows. They need Linux. That's the only thing that's gonna save them. All right, so let's see what happens here. We have Kerbals, let's fill it up. So if they if they remain, why did it just jack that all up again? Okay. Windows. We have Lindos. Does Lindos work for you? Ugh. Ooh, good yawn. He's doing the dinosaur. All right, let's launch here, why not? All right, I wanna see these guys burn up. We're gonna try to burn these guys up real quick. so close to overheating actually actually oh god what have I done that looks weird and I like it can I aim here <laughs> this is a uh, that's some artwork stuff right there man that's beautiful yeah That's beautiful, dude. Wow. I love it. <laughs> what in the space oddity am I watching? What's up, Krusty Plunger? You came in at just the perfect timing. What we saw there is that they were not affected by the heat, which is perfect. Um, but I don't... Th I, I think the... I think that is actually not really being affected by it because that's just the air streams i'd have to take a look at that part and see what's going on with it all right we're gonna keep that to there hey nice very nice very bad, very bad, very bad. That's very bad. All that's very bad. Check this out. Check this out though. Check this out though. Ready? Right. 
safe ish uh, there we go it's <laughs> exactly exactly what I was doing What's up, Adam? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dude, wow. I am. <laughs> it's actually... It's actually working really well. But thank you very much, guys. I, I'm having a lot of fun. All of a sudden, this is ridiculous. And it's hilarious. And I wanted to see if... This, you know what? I probably could put some wings on this thing. And this thing would actually fly. Oh, I have a new idea. <laughs> I have a new idea. We're going to make a Kerbal Chopper. This is going to be awesome. And to make everybody nauseous. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, ah. All right. So, yes. Kerbal Chopper. Let's go back and build a Kerbal Chopper. Oh, my God. Scarlet, this is a great idea. You don't care, you just want me to throw your ball. Alright, so what we have to do here. This is, uh... We can call this Odd Chopper. And save. New vault. Let's see, what do I want to keep from this? All this can go. We need this. Don't need this. We're gonna need the bigger one. That's upside down. That goes here. And now we need some wheels. Yeah, I wouldn't expect, um, I mean, we were kind of expecting that there would be a, a patch. We, yeah, uh, we were expecting there would be another patch. So we have this, that, do the, <laughs> the Warhol thing again. <laughs> we are about to do the Warhol thing again. And we are going to use, we are going to use, this one I think this one might do the trick and we're gonna go like this and give this a slight rotation after we put the Elvons on oh yeah we got this we got this we got, this is going to be weird. Okay. Dribble chopper. Dribble chopper. Dribble chopper. Let's go. Total stock. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Imagine if this was like actually like a, a transportation thing. This would just make people nauseous as heck. Oh no! Where's my Kerbals? Like, come on, man. You know what? If we... Alright, we're going to try it like this. Because right now, it's really just going to be a regular chopper. But I want to do this with just the parachutes. Because the parachutes give you lift. Um, plenty of lift to actually fly. The question is... Can we use it just the shoots themselves to generate enough lift? I don't think it works the same way as spinning like the normal ones do, unless we angle the seats like a propeller blade. Um, what are you doing under there? Why are you out of your seat? There's always one. Get out of here then. All right. Wrong way. We'll just leave without you, buddy. Nice knowing you. Well, that's not working. <laughs> I think it's too heavy. All right. All right. That was close. Okay. So let's angle the seats, spin them around. What's up, G-Force? Yeah, I've watched some of the crazier streams. I've been on some of the streams with a lot of people, and it was just chaotic. You try to say anything, forget about it. Forget about it. So we're going to get rid of this. Matter of fact, we don't need any of this stuff. We're just going to get rid of all this. We're thinking too heavy. We need to think light. We need to be as light as possible. Yeah, that... Yeah... How heavy are we? Oh, you see, this is why I really want. I really got to reinstall Kerbal Engineer. Yeah, I was about to say maybe they changed something. No, they can't. Never mind. So we need something really light for the wheels. Heavy. Wow, mega heavy. That's nice and light. So let's do this. And now everyone's seat needs to be angled. So the chute pops open like this. So the chute pops open facing forward. So we'll go like this. And now everybody needs to be leaned back like so. <clears throat> this needs to go in the trash. All right, I think that'll work. We're good. We're going to try it just like this. 
It's light enough. It technically should. It creates lift. They'll be able to spin. I forgot they have a bit of, of, of torque because the seat torque. Haven't played a game on a PC in over seven months. What? Oh, man. Just come back from Europe. Won't see my PC till January 4th. You know what's funny is that is that um there was some time at one point in time I wasn't even touching my computer. Cannot deploy parachute while speeds less than one meter per second. Whatever. They need to go this way. We need to spin faster. We need to spin much faster. Right now we have a little park ride. All right. Uh, let's see um yeah it's kind of it's kind of the old tilt whirls let's see this is the mass is so much we need something light all right let's try this and anything else that actually has some some torque this one doesn't have any torque this one has torque, but I don't think it's a lot. Not only that, but it's mass of 0 0.1. If I'm going to do that, then I might as well use this one and get even more torque out of it. So that just needs some power. I think 1 PB is enough, but 1 PB is that's not too heavy. Uh, let's switch ourselves back to the launch pad. Or, or let's go to, um, uh, we have a lot of options. Let's go to OKSC. Kerbal Construct still works, by the way. Yeah. I'm, I'm using it right now, Kerbal Constructs and Curb Inside, because the game needs more bases. I've been actually doing base hops with my uh, with my electric engine and testing it out, making sure there's no bugs. That's when I was able to release that one yesterday. Oh God. All right, so don't launch there. All right, we're just gonna go back. To, <laughs> we're just gonna go back to the launch pad. <laughs> just go back to the launch pad. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so what we found between our, us two is that the cargo bay and the, the base system basically isn't going to work. The only thing it's going to do is reduce is is limit the drag, and that's not enough to to stop the ragdolling. Not enough electric charge. I keep forgetting there's no battery in that. Oh, let's go find a small D cell battery. Anyone's mom have a small D cell battery? <coughs> <coughs> All right, let's do this real quick. Just one, two, good enough for me. 
but yeah, man, I've been still waiting. I'm still waiting on LMP to get updated so we can use it on 1.6. I know someone has an unofficial patch, but I was hoping for the fix to the exploding aircraft thing. It's un an unofficial um, uh, recompile for 1.6, but I don't know if it's still going to have the same. It, I don't have a link for it. LMP! Yeah! Because I have to ask dude for it. It's not it's not being it's not actively released. Oh <laughs> We have flight my friends <laughs> oh. oh my god that is awesome. I wonder how high you could get with this. We're going to do some uh, time acceleration here. <laughs> this is... <laughs> This is hilarious. Oh my god. We have flight. NASA. NASA. We're actually getting pretty high up in the air, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, it's back. Okay. The parts could not hold together. Huh. So you technically <laughs> if you had if you had in front of robotics installed, you could actually put a bunch of kerbals on the top. With just a rototron spinning real fast with their parachutes out. <laughs> I could, but I don't wanna I don't feel like restarting right now. Oh my god, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Might want to hire figure skaters or ballet dancers as astronauts. Yes. Correct. No, there's too much force, too many forces. Phantom forces are affecting them. Oh, we're almost out of electric charge. Oh, okay, we have electric charge. I don't think I I don't think I need the additional electric charge. Oh, we're losing speed. <laughs> that RTG is doing all the work. SAS, Kerbals, they are having a freaking blast. And uh, we can just wind out like this. And you'll see the Kerbals are in flight using an SAS, one RTG, and their parachutes. Having the time of their life. 
I don't think I would ride that though. I don't think I would ever ride anything like this because I would I would lose my launch. <laughs> well, with, with with wings, this is easy. This is actually more stable with just the Kerbals without the wings. How high are we? We are currently at 4,000 meters. I think this thing would go up to... Uh, probably to the, to the... Can I get lateral? I can. It's a little scary. It's not fast, but you can get a little lateral motion. I want to see if this thing will make it to the... I think we're running out of... I think we're running out of atmosphere. Yeah, I think I think that around actually think release one shoot. I think around 10,000 it would stop. Cuz you see our surface speed. <laughs> What's up Justin? How is this even possible? Ah, uh, because the parachutes generate a bit of lift in their design. Uh, so we just took the seats, we f rotated them back a little bit, slapped on an RTG along with an SA Advanced SAS, and we have our carnival ride from heck. <laughs> on the guard scale <coughs> I've done that before um it takes a lot it takes a lot Because I think my idea previously was to build a giant wing thing that snaps onto the bottom of a rocket. And so you spin that around and your rocket gets up to, you spin it at really high speeds and you get really high and then you launch. And it detaches and launches off. But while it does work, it does use a lot of electric charge. And stability. Because <laughs> basically you can only go straight up. All right, I want to see. I want to see how. You know what's funny is that if we go, if we slow things down, we are only accelerating upwards at four point six meters per second. Now, if we increase in time, technically we should only be going up about the same. Or, you know, if they want to say, I mean, you should be gaining meters per second. That's definitely affecting our. And for people wondering what the heck that's coming from. There you go. There's the lift. You can actually use this little hack to see if you can bypass. We're almost to the upper atmosphere. But we're also decreasing in surface speed as well. Ever so slightly. I mean, what is the chance that 
these would actually get you well it's gonna it's gonna cap out here soon because I can't remember where but the atmosphere is gonna be too thin for these to even work see right now we're already at 6.3 I think most people here are now just kind of staring trying to figure out when it's gonna stop I can't accelerate any further because if I do, it's going to almost detach the craft from itself, which is something I definitely don't want to happen. <laughs> the other question is, how many people would actually ride something like this? Six point one. It looks like it might be that ten thousand cap. Cause ten thousand is generally when my engines switch over. No no no, not switch over. That's when you lose enough thrust. Um due to the intakes. So I usually try to flatten out just around 10,000 and just ride the wave. So for rockets and wings, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. I mean, this thing is not really designed to, I, I just want to see what the cap is. So you're using Kerbals as the wings or just wings? Okay. It can work. Wow, that meters per second is dropping fast now. Uh. Oh yeah. I mean, that works. As long as you have the wings spinning, generating lift, it'll fly. That's basically all the propellers are. That's what my propeller tried to be, my actual electric propeller. But that didn't work so well. Did not work so well. Although I think now, I think the idea I found is to remove the drag being generated by the spinning part itself and apply drag and lift to the parts being attached. <laughs> Nine thousand. We are actually at nine thousand. Holy crap. Our parachutes? What's up, Thor? Yeah, we have some weird things going on right now. <laughs> I wonder... I have an idea next, but I don't know how well it's going to work. Yeah, I'd be concerned about it. It's, it's still in the green zone for G's. Quote, unquote, still in the green zone. Safe. Hashtag safe. Yeah, I think it's going to hit 10,000. 
and then it's gonna drop off. Let's see. It, it I don't know. We're only, we're still at 4.8, so we may be in a physics hacks range, a physic hack range, because we're spinning faster than the game technically should be letting us spin at this speed with this SAS. And so it's giving us a bit of a boost at this speed. So we're gonna clear 10,000 in the most economical way possible and probably the most nauseating way possible. We were, we're gonna surpass 10,000 meters up in two, one, Booyah! Well, here you go. We're over ten thousand. That that demolished my predictions. So yeah, we are still only at four four point four meters per second right now. But curiosity is killing me. I want to see how far this thing's gonna go. So I do apologize if, if you feel like I'm wasting all your time. I do apologize. I need to know how far it will go. Four point two. crazy thing is when it first started lifting off I did not think it was actually going to lift off it just looked like it wasn't going to work but everybody's got a nice little recline I think I would probably close my eyes but if I close my eyes I would be so sick I've done that on a tilt world before do not close your eyes on a tilt world it makes it feel like you are tumbling down a hill and it's so nauseating that would be a good thing to look at in terms of game mechanics. G-Force load is small because the <laughs> is only going four meters per second. Yeah, it would actually be a tremendous amount of Gs. Um, and <laughs> that would be that would be a thing to look at. Um, especially with with the acceleration, how you can get additional speed from from uh, the physics, from physics warp, from warping everything ahead of time. Uh, now all of a sudden you have additional speed. You have additional. Uh, I've actually done that and actually got a nice little boost from my. Uh, <laughs> what's up, Andy? I got a nice little boost in my uh, in my one of my jets. Uh, well kind of found that if you take a Kerbal, you put them on a seat angled back, then you can actually make a Kerbal fly upwards. Which is basically what we're doing right now. We are currently flying Kerbals straight up with nothing but these parts here. Our Kerbal is, is is airborne and almost, almost through the mid-atmosphere. But we only have 3.3. We only have 3.3 though. All right, so place your bets in. Can you scroll to the top down? I want to see. That's where we're at right now. Oh yeah, I was not. I didn't try to adjust it any. If I were to adjust it, I have to stop spinning for a few seconds because right now it's got. It's going to counteract itself. <laughs> it's just like no way out. Oh, we're down to two point nine. We'll try. We'll try to uh, warp one one more time upwards and see if that can get us 
a little bit more oomph to get us to the upper atmosphere. But wow, that would be one heck of a view. It would be a nauseating view. Like if they had it, that was like a mechanism with just the parachutes and your, your Kerbal itself didn't have to rotate in such a fashion. I would go on something like this, as long as I had my own parachute to pull, just in case. Just over min miss. 2.6. 12,000. Holy crap, we just got a huge boost from that. I'm not sure if a larger version would be more efficient, but we just got a huge boost by using a time, the physics, the time warp just gave us a huge boost in meters per second. <laughs> Add separatrons with infinite fuel to the back of their seats for extra mmph. This is totally legit, man. This is totally legit. We are almost to the upper atmosphere. No heating issues. No heating concerns. This thing gets to, uh, I want to at least, uh, <laughs> I want to at least take it to the upper atmosphere. But what I want to do is then try the same type of idea, except for on a small rocket and see what happens and separate the, separate all the Kerbals at the last second and then launch the rocket. A Kerbal assisted liftoff? We can get the 14,000 and we're going to try that. We're coming to get you, Moon, eventually, slowly. Well, we're losing speed fast now. <laughs> Five Kerbal Bucks says you make 22 km. I th that's where we run out of atmosphere, though. As he lost you to your future. <laughs> it would, you know, it would be totally optional. But like, all right, everybody, I need you to strap yourselves to this rocket. No worries. You'll be separated from the rocket far before we launch this thing. No worries. What are you so upset about? <laughs> What's the worst thing that can happen, huh? Come on. Just stay out of the way of the rocket when it fires. <laughs> and the best thing about that would be you don't need to stay with the Kerbal. Because they have chutes, they will gently fall back to Kerbin. Yes. It's beautiful. It's be absolutely beautiful. It's the greatest idea ever.
slight boost again. We're going to stick with this for a little bit. Oh God, our wheels, what's going on? <laughs> what's up ours? Thank you, thank you so much. Dude, those wheels are, are, are tripping me out. Those wheels are tripping me out. Where are those things going? Holy balls. All right, wheels. Stick with me. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. But how you doing, Rod? Ours, Roz. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, this thing here, cause I, I, well, I think with the uh, onset of the shoots, I was making a bunch of ultralights. That was how I was doing all my collection after a while. It was way too easy. The ultralights are the way to go early on, though, especially on lathe ultralights. Oh, we're running out of meters per second, kind of. All right, we're at 18. We are quickly approaching 20. Oh, I will be tripping if this thing actually does go over 20,000. I thought 10,000 would be the cap. This is tripping me out. I'm like watching the numbers go by. I like, go, go, go. <laughs> Dude, look how far up we are though. Seriously though. Seriously though. Uh-oh, 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 we have, Houston, we have a problem. Yep, we, we capped out, we capped out, we capped out at 18 and a half. Holy crap, we're going fast. <laughs> Yeah, they have they have a little bit of lift to them. Wow, we are we are going down fast now. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. Eighteen and a half thousand is pretty BA. And then we drop down. I will definitely take that. So. Oh yeah, let's try some lateral motion. moving 
we have we have motion. Hey, it's not fast, but it's motion. God, this thing is ridiculous. I say if you didn't want to go anywhere really fast, this could definitely be the way to go. There's the new way of flight, everybody. New slow flight. <laughs> Five pistol girls come home. But we have flight. We are flying. Ah, I don't think I can land a thing on there. That's asking a, asking a lot of asking a lot of this poor thing oh oh okay oh okay wow okay let's uh let's bring it on down We can try. We can try. I have pretty good control. Oh wait, these don't have brakes. Ah, crap. I, I went up with you're missing one one is one is missing we are down one Kerbal <laughs> maybe that's why we lost why maybe that's why we uh, started to come back down so fast We are definitely missing a Kerbal, though. Huh. What will happen there? Time Warp, time warp will get you every time. Oh, no! Valentina died! Oh. Sorry, Val.
thing does not want to land. Alright, here we are. And back this way. No. No, no, yes. This thing is, is very hard to turn. Oh god, oh god, what have I done? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, never mind. We're good. Oh. <laughs> hey, not bad landing. <laughs> Can I Yeah, I did not get those Kerbal butts Thing is, <laughs> a lot of fun to play with, though. I'll give it that. Uh oh 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 hey, hey. what's up guys <laughs> a lot of torque and a little craft there we go Brought it back to everyone. <laughs> All right. Let's revert back. <laughs> I like that. That was pretty awesome. Okay. Let's let's try. All right. So we need to make a small. What's up, Jolly? So I need to make a little. Uh, well, it was a little odd thing. <laughs> a very, I should say a little, it was a very odd thing. But that chopper, that odd chopper works. And I'm very excited about that. Uh, was it, was it showing me on this morning? Um, I don't remember. I this actually I've been doing woodwork all day, so I wouldn't have had a chance to do anything till just now. Um, I set up a notification saying that it was going to happen later today. Well, right now. Gotcha. Two. Hmm. Oh no! Why'd I do that? Dang it. Get this thing out of here. That variant bug. 
Oh, well, that's a thing. Hey, look at the cheetah. <laughs> hey, that's not supposed to be happening. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. Um... <laughs> How did I do that? Uh, all right, Garen, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm not sure at all. It doesn't do it with that one. It's just with this one, and with this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the new one doesn't do it. Wolfhound. Kodiak. Yep. Nice. Very nice. Let's take a look at what's going on. Hey! Nice! No reference exception. And it does not give you any stats on those engines. That's a good, yeah, it, last time I saw this happen, it did not activate on launch. So we can take a look and see what happens here. So we're going to do an experiment. Let's see if this is actually busted busted. Or if this is a working busted. Uh, I don't think I have anything actually. It should just be visual correct. Um, I think that's just where they have it coming from. But I don't know. It will be funny if it launches and just takes straight off into the air. Ah, uh, I'd laugh. Nope. See it works here. But unfortunately, I need to test the, uh, see now I'm getting the calculation so I know we're good. So let's do a quick test. Runs hot, runs beautiful. I like it. Even nerfed, it works pretty well. All right. So, if we can get it up to here, we should be able to launch this thing pretty far. Let's just see how far it goes first. Apoapsis, 80. <coughs> how about getting it down? We'll get down. All right, well. Let's snap something on the bottom and rotate and see what we get. That didn't didn't sound right at all. <laughs> because because new new uh new patches and I'm almost completely stuck right now. That's the scary thing. I do like it, but I would like it even more if I could right-click on it without killing all op uh, ability to right-click afterwards.
we are going to try to lift a craft off. We are going to try to make this happen today. Um, let's get this. I am. Scary, huh? I know. 6-1, but... Because it, it it's not working. <laughs> yeah. I will admit I do need to reinstall Kerbal Engineer. I know it still it still works though. Yeah. Oh yeah, it still works. That's no problem. Um, I had it installed. That's what I was doing my. That's the problem. <laughs> And the problem also is this whatever bug this is is really killing me because you can't um, it doesn't let you actually right click on anything once it hits that's it you gotta you gotta launch and then come back Correct. Well, actually, it doesn't. Neither Kerbal Engineer nor um, uh, the stock version will actually read anything with my Electric Engines mod because, well, that's basically because the Electric Engines mod is kind of a, uh, well, it's it's a it's technically not electricity that you're using, but it is electricity that you're using. It's a, a weird, neat little hack I found. Hack, pity, hack, hack. All right, so we got to aim these guys the right way. So let's do this. I don't know how many Kerbals. I am making a Kerbal lifted rocket. Hopefully, we'll see. It's going to need a lot of torque to make this happen. All right, so we have that. We're gonna have to actually take this off. And add a lot of torque. This is gonna be really, really interesting. And why is my engine not showing up on my screen? My engine stays doesn't even show up now. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, I am slightly concerned. Everything's gonna be all right. Kerbals may start falling out, but I'm not too concerned about them. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Die. <laughs> Insta death. <clears throat> All right. You have to have a really slow plane.
We need more Kerbals. Kerbals, who wants to die? I mean, who wants to help me out in a fantastic new experiment? <laughs> Holy crap, we need a lot more. He said, who wants to participate? Would you just give me the Kerbals? I swear I had this thing set to actually do this for me. And this is actually a hassle. I'm not asking very much. Good lord, how many... How <laughs> many seats did I get this? <laughs> Oh my god, okay, okay, we got this. Hey, hey. Come on. Alright, we're almost to the end. Holy crap. There we go. Sorry, Fobart and Doodly. You guys have to stay back. All right. I think we may need some more. Let's put some small batteries on here, just in case. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, ah, I have confidence, I have faith. Ooh, you gotta keep the faith. Gotta have faith, faith, faith. Ah. That actually scared me a little bit. <laughs> all right, I bet that all my Kerbals are not gonna show up in their seats. It's currently warping them into the seats. That's why I put them so low, because I had a feeling like they weren't going to all pop in their seats. Oh, God. What's up, Tropico? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Everybody, I do indeed have a happy new year and a Merry Christmas in case you are going. Oh, my God, it loaded. Oh, God. The lag is real. Holy moly. Well, that's good. <laughs> Where did this... <laughs> Where did this shroud come from? I didn't order a shroud. Or is that my, what's going on here? Ah, uh, I, you know, it's funny. I didn't run into too many bugs during my test, during uh, my initial play time. And now I'm like running into it just left and right. I've actually been like just playing, uh, I've actually been playing some other games. So I'm like, I'll wait for a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Juice deployed. It's going to take more Kerbals and my computer's going to cry. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> the scary part is it's going to take even more Kerbals for this to work. No, oh, because I know it works with wings. It, it works with wings, so I don't want to use wings. So 
So where did the where 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 did where did this come from? Oh God. I forgot not to click that. Forgot not to click any click that. <sighs> Anyone order some variant names? What's this even do if I click on it anyway? It doesn't do anything. I didn't think so. Ah, okay. Well, uh, uh, this is this is buggy. Well, like someone said on the, on the channel, on the, um, not channel, on the, what's it called? <laughs> I can't click on anything right now. It's just too much going on for it. Like someone said on the forums, uh, now that 1.6 is out, prepare for 1.6.1. <laughs> I need to okay there it goes okay a little better okay what why is that there oh god I can't even remove this round <laughs> okay since we have about three minutes left, and that is going to be super buggy, and I got to find out if there's a fix for this, let's uh, show you the, the mod that I just released for those that are zero interest in modding or mods. No worries, you can run away screaming at this point. Um, I have a few. I just updated Pure, actually. I just updated Pure so it now includes the electric trek engines. Yep, they are released. The Mark II and the Mark uh, Mark One and Mark II. Yes. And this is my first this was my test craft I made with it, and this this is actually just using uh, a little bit of, of uh, of uh, the LFO, and it is using a series of of these fuel cells. And what we're able to do is have a really nice flying craft. This thing's a bit ridiculous. I'll show you. I I want to show you guys this thing real quick before I have to go. Because this aircraft actually turned out way better than I thought it would. And I have been having a lot of fun. Because it's funny thing happens when your rest of your craft is really light compared to the very center of it. Having all the fuel. And, and, and then meshing your center of mass and lift almost on that. You have a craft that's ridiculously agile. And fun to fly. So I can show you guys here. And we'll turn on our liquid fuel cell. Turn this on. Get our engines. And you'll see here we are just using electric charge. The liquid fuel cell is going to be used once it uh, starts offloading. So yeah, this creates a really agile little craft. Now mind you, Now the only thing that I'm using on this that's different is these electric engines. Everything else is completely stock.
It actually is so... <laughs> it's so agile. It's like I have trouble keeping the camera up because it jitters around. Oh man, I one day got to put my joystick on this one. It would help if I was a better pilot in this game. Oh my god. God, this thing is ridiculous. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna... I don't know if I can actually even target that thing right now. We're gonna try. Whoa, not on that pass. I'm getting a lot of lag. Oh dear. Oh dear. Thing actually, <laughs> bro, treasures die. Oh, that's way too low. Oh, crap. <laughs> I can't control this thing enough with the lag. But yeah, that is basically how this thing, this craft is actually way too, uh, way too agile for me to fly right now. Uh, there, uh, but yeah, pure, I did release pure on space stock, so it is ready to go for everyone to enjoy. Thank you, Tropical. So yeah, if you're looking for this one on, if you're looking for this one, it is on space. Oh, it is on space dock, and it will give you these engines, the Manly Mito engine. Uh, it will also give you MK1. I'm sorry, it will give you the .625 engines, and also it will give you two of the. Um, It'll give you two really nice Star Trek missile type engines and the VTOL. Uh, uh, what's it called? A uh, little VTOL air ionizer engine that works on all the planets. It has two stages. So the second stage will definitely get you to where you're going. But as for this one, this one is fun. I've been using it now to replace all the other engines. Um, basically, it's almost as powerful as the other engines, except for it's a match almost exactly to all of the stock engines, with the exception of it uses electric power. Just a stock electric. And it's a lot of fun. So if you want to use it, definitely let me know what you think about it. Um, I eventually need to go ahead and make a form for it. But it is there, it's just been updated. You can make your own Star Trek if you would like. Uh, the nacelles actually don't uh, go straight backwards. They actually push directly back from the center of the craft. So 
no worries with that. And hope you guys will enjoy it. But until then, for now, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here and enjoy some wifey time. So, we'll catch you guys next time. For now, I am out. Hopefully, we won't have any more mishaps. The mod is called Pure Electric Engines. I can even drop it a link in here. Because it was just updated recently. Here we are. Pure electric engines. Alright, definitely let me know what you think. And until the next time, I will catch you all later. Peace. Take it easy. If I can just find this thing. I have so many windows open. Good 